it's been quite staggering to see the number of articles that have appeared in the paper about the so-called property boom in Australia and of course on websites. Now, as we know, it's one of Australians' favourite pastimes talking about property. But over the last few weeks we've seen comments come from ASIC, the RBA and APRA who of course regulate the banks. Now it's during these periods that you start to see comments like it's a buyer's market, it's a seller's market. From my point of view, it's all just a nonsense. You can't have one without the other. But let's have a look at these comments made by the RBA. One risk of the increase in property investment by self-managed super funds is that at least some of it is a new source of demand that could potentially exacerbate property price cycles. So from my point of view, it's time for the regulators to put up or shut up. If there is a problem out there in the marketplace and they can see a bubble simmering, well then they should be doing something about it. If in fact there isn't an issue, well then they should let the markets do what they've always done. Now, according to the ABS, the Australian Bureau of Statistics, there's about $500 billion in self-managed super funds. From that, approximately 18 billion, or 3.8%, is directed towards property. The reality is that two of the last three years, the property market has been quite flat. Now, it doesn't make sense to have a blanket overview for the whole of the Australian property market. Sydney alone has more than 700 postcodes and it's an absolute fact that not all postcodes are doing as well as their neighbour. Have a look at this chart. This is what I believe we should be looking at. The number's currently sitting around 145% and it's a disposable income within households that will determine the serviceability of any further borrowings. We can see that since October 2009, figures actually came down peaked and then has flatlined. In my opinion, I don't believe we're currently going through a property bubble, but that's not to say we may not experience one if we don't keep an eye on certain data. The reality is that the Reserve Bank, they need to keep an eye on the property market, the increase in unemployment. On top of that, we have historically low interest rates. That's gonna be a tough juggle for the RBA. I'm Mickey Damiani, I'll see you next week.